Everyone is talking about the search query performance report for the brand analytics, and rightfully so. However, there hasn't been much discussion of the analyzing of the data and using them to take actionable steps to optimize your Amazon business. But fear not, we are going to leverage ChatGPT to get from this to this. So if you actually want to learn the all-in-one prompt to help your business make sense of brand analytics search query data, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. I invite you to subscribe to our content such as this one where we do deep dives on anything Amazon FBA news, tips, and hacks. As an Amazon seller, getting a search query performance data from Amazon is great. As someone that has a financial analytics background, I have no problems downloading this mountain of data and analyze it 10 ways to Sunday. But not everyone have the same skill set as I do to be able to do this heavy analysis and to also have the time. Thus, they are not making the best use of the data provided by Amazon. This is where ChatGPT comes in. With ChatGPT Pro feature, you could download the data from Search Query Performance Report as a spreadsheet and have ChatGPT analyze the data set using a detailed prompt that I have personally developed for my business and clients. But before we start, we have two requirements before we start. Number one, we have to have the pro version of ChatGPT. That would mean that you have to go off the free version in order to do this. The pro version allows you to upload the spreadsheet for ChatGPT to analyze. The free version does not. Number two, you also need to be brand registered because the search query performance report falls under the brand analytics suite of tools, which requires you to be brand registered. Assuming that you have the two above requirements, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Seller Central. I think the first thing that we need to do, basically just two parts, right? We're gonna do number one, gather the data from our search query performance. And then once you gather the data, we are going to go to ChatGPT and upload it and use the custom prompt that I've developed. So basically it's just two step, uh, download the data, upload the data. So let's go to our Seller Central right here and we're gonna go to Brand Analytics. And under Brand Analytics, we're gonna go to Search Query Performance. So that is like Search Query Performance data that gives great insight into like the most granular detail, which is the search query. We're gonna do an analysis by specific ASIN. And the ASIN that we are going, I'm going to use, uh, I'm gonna plunk it here. Um, I'm gonna have this redacted. So um, just for privacy reasons. Um, so for the reporting range, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to correlate data because we want the most complete data as possible. This allows ChatGPT to have a lot more data to do the analytics. If you have less data, the actual result would not be as accurate with more data. So to ensure more data accuracy, we are going to do quarterly. That would give us a larger data set and we're gonna use the most recent quarter. And uh, we are going to apply and then you can see like here, uh, there is row of 25, there's four pages. So the total results is 100. You can see like right here, like, you know, once you scroll down, there's like probably a hundred results. Then what we could do right now is download the, the information. Okay, we're gonna wait for the information to download. Once downloaded, we are going to chat GPT. So notice that uh, I am using ChatGPT Pro and with ChatGPT Pro, I could select ChatGPT4 and the newest one, ChatGPT0. We could actually use this, the prompt I developed using ChatGPT4. It really, you don't really need to use the newest one. I'm gonna use like temporary chat so my other prompts will not affect my current prompt. What we're gonna do is you see like this like file, file clip icon here. You're gonna click on it and then you are going to upload the file from search query performance report. After that, this is where the magic happens and this is the prompt that i use and i have developed so just a little bit of the prompt um it's telling amazon to do the analysis on the file uploaded and then what we're going to do we're going to clean up the data set we want to make sure that we're only looking at search query that has significant search volume number one and number two remove anything that has like a really low uh, purchase rate so what we're going to do basically what we're going to do in the analysis in our search query performance is that finding opportunities where um, our impression share percentage is relatively low, but our purchase rate is relatively high. So that gives us an opportunity. So basically I want ChatGPT to show me search query where I am not showing up as much for, but the purchase rate, AKA the conversion for that particular search query is high. So that's what we're aiming 
for ChatGPT to analyze from this mountain of data right here. So what we're gonna do is that once we do the prompt, we are going to just click on the up arrow and that will initiate the prompt. And I'm gonna wait for ChatGPT. It might take like five minutes, uh, depending on the size of the data and to do the analysis. So you can see like uh, ChatGPT, they kind of latch onto the data and they've kind of seen like the data and look at uh, what we want to remove specifically. And then you can see like the second part of the prompt is saying like, give us the uh, highest opportunity score by uh, lowest a relative impression share, but also a high uh, purchase rate percentage. So it's doing the filter, so let's wait. I, I think a chat GPT has now come up with like the top five search query that has like a good opportunity score to them. And it gives us like, you know, the actual data. And now the last part of the prompt is to ask them to plot this information in a web chart or a radar chart. And you'll see how that chart looks like. There it is. So you can see like this uh, radar chart uh, kind of came from this mountain of text to this chart where it does like the heavy lifting analytics for you and show the actionable data that could potentially give me uh, like a bang for my buck in terms of ranking for these keywords, whether how you want to rank it via PPC or putting it into your back end search term. Any way you want, you could should concentrate on the search query based on the search query performance data that we've gleaned from our brand analytics. So you actually ask you, if you actually need further analysis or another form visualization, let me know. Let's just actually ask that. I'd like to know other forms of visualization. Let's see what uh, ChatGPT have in store for us in terms of the different charts that we could actually present this data for. Okay, there's scatter plots, uh, bar chart, heat maps, bubble charts. That's interesting. Let's. Uh, please present the data using bubble chart. The prompts that I just showed you, uh, you don't need to copy it off the video itself. I will share a link below for you to send you a prompt directly to your email. So all you have to do is to go to that link, enter your email, and then I will send you the prompt. Okay, so that's interesting. So that is the bubble score, the bubble chart. Let's just now look at heat maps. Uh. So it seems like all of them have like a similar opportunity score for this. Uh, it seems like this particular search query has like the highest purchase rate. So if you actually look into the heat map instead of the web chart, I think that you could either even further prioritize the top five. I would like definitely prioritize like this one right here. It seems like within like the top five, this one is the outlier in terms of opportunity. So it seems like very interesting how you could actually get ChatGPT to further uh, give you information, right? All you have to do is just ask. Uh, the great thing is that it's actually asking you, do you want to know more insight? So if you say yes, I'm pretty sure it'll give you like some further information on the data that is available once they've analyzed it. To review what we just covered quite simply first we gather the data from search query performance report load the data into chat gpt the ones that we download from search query performance report add the prompt and the prompt is in the link below so feel free to click on that link and get that prompt and then afterwards it's going to output a chart in which you can analyze visually and you can also ask it to output different types of analysis and chart as well i really hope that you found this video insightful and will help your search query performance analysis in the brand analysis to some much more insightful and actionable. Lastly, if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business, schedule a discovery call with me on the link below. We're an Amazon marketing agency that helps our clients grow their business. Until the next time, uh, keep selling, keep hustling, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is Rick signing off.